Well, you might have a pair there when you make that speech. Right? What? You might have a pair of seven. I shouldn't have made any kind of speech at all, right? Yeah. I shouldn't have mentioned I could fold or I could go I guess Let's I have see. just realized that no eight. matter how I play uh -huh. for like 10 million years, Ace. no one ever you thinks you have anything. People oh. will never fold. Oh, that's so Seven, six. Yes. seven no queen. Give flops a set of sevens. Cast you wrote the queen. You wrote the book and they read it. <laughs> Let's see the turn. I saw the queen on the window. Mm -hmm. Use parts on the turn. Usually when a queen comes on the flop, I and saw no the way on the window. Yeah, queen. it's not that bad. Let's see the river card. It's a ten of spades. Guess. And just like that, Gus Hansen's out of the game. Hello. Taken out by the Unibom shell. Well played, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I played that king queen beautifully. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Tim Tilly just wins on TV every single time I see her on TV. She always wins, did you say? She always wins. She never loses. Did you? Well, okay. You had an ace high and yeah. he had king high. Yeah. How about that count? According to the door cards. But I saw okay. the door, I saw the oh, okay. queen right on the window. Oh, that's kind of funny. I was like, well, that's not good. Yeah. And then the, the sevens came out, the beautiful sevens fanned out like a peacock's tail. <laughs> In two of them. And I realized the poker gods love me. They do love you. If I flat called, it would have gone all in on the flat. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Flat call. But that was not an option. It doesn't feel like it. Plus, sometimes calling is stronger than racing. Yeah. Plus. It's true. Elias sitting with the ladies. A pretty looking hand. Raise to 1,500. And Channing's got the big slick, ace king, suited in diamonds. A lot of money could go in here. Re raise to 4,000. Plus. Now we can play for an hour. Huh? For a couple of hours we can play now. 96. I'm all in. Call. Three race to 96. Wow. All in and call. Aces. Well. Channing all in. Alas. He'll need to see an ace, a king, or plenty of diamonds. Right. So Darren shows pair of queens and Neil all in with ace, king of diamonds. Up count. Three, eight, six with one diamond. Darren is leading with pair of queens. Neil needs an ace. Or a king or two running diamonds to stay alive. Eight of hearts. Now it has to be an ace or a king. And let's see the river card. It's a queen of diamonds. Oh, no. Darren wins the hand. Hey, Neil. Unlucky, Neil. What are you going to do? Oh, see you later. <coughs> two, two. Oh. Yeah. Channing nearly shortchanged on the kisses there, and certainly shortchanged when it came to that board. Nothing really he could do. Ace King against the pair, and we're down to four players. It's winner takes all here in the poker lounge in association with Full Tilt Poker. A hundred and twenty thousand dollars, the reward. Raise to one thousand six hundred. Patrick Antonius with the button raise, holding Queen 10 suited. Call. Jennifer Tilly wants to see a flop. Call. And so does Prize Bancy, who had his big blind in there already. So we will have three players seeing the first three cards. Three players. Tilly and Antonius have both flopped a pair of queens, but Patrick also has the up and down straight draw. Bet 2,500. Pass.
all in. 8,400 all in. Well, that's a very strong play by Patrick Antonius, putting Tilly to the test. Gus Hansen tried. Pass. But this time, she folds very quickly. Power poker from the shaven-headed Finn. When in doubt, oh, fold. That's something Phil taught me. Yeah, My boy Phil. Old man tried to tell, uh, tried to tell too long of our stories. <laughs> Raised to twenty-one hundred. Darren Elias, our internet qualifier, getting busy with the ten-four suited. Ooh, but his timing is way off here. I don't think he's going to like this response from Jennifer Tilly. She's got the fish hooks. She's got plenty of chips. 6,000. Three raise to 6,000. Pass. <clears throat> I'm sure Darren Elias would normally love to tangle with Jennifer Tilly, but... Surely not this time, not with that junk. He has one last look, and I suggest that is a look that says goodbye. Pass. So Tilly wins that pot. Time for her to have a chat with Millie about how much she's enjoying crushing her male opponents. Hi. So I've got a little question. OK. Well, this is obviously a winner-takes-all game. Does that... Yeah change the way that you approach the game at all? Um, I think so. You know, when you're playing in a regular tournament, sometimes you're trying to move up the pay scale. Like, oh, if I just survive, I'll make another $5,000. But in this game, basically, there's only one winner. And so um, if there's a chance where you can, like, make a big hand and... Oh, I think they're listening. Uh, <laughs> if there's a chance, give away those trade secrets. Right, right, right. <laughs> if there's a chance that you can make a big hand and double up, I think you'll take it more than you would in a regular tournament where, you know, you're just, like, trying to get to the final table. OK, excellent. Great. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Right. Don't give away any more secrets. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was just telling them what they wanted oh, to hear. Really? That's not actually how I play. Oh, I am yeah. actually yeah. trying to move up the pace. Yeah. Yeah. In television poker, how I actually play is try to get as much television time as possible. I'm always happy if I make it to the final day. Although this is one day. to hear something else. Right? <laughs> she said, you're going to play more cautious. I should have said, yes, yes, that's how I'm going to play. Cautious. They have to reshoot it? <clears throat> you had the back of my head? Pass. Oh, sorry. I'm listening to the cameraman talking. I thought they said we had to reshoot that excellent interview. But they're talking about something totally different. The football game, perhaps. Fancy calls from the small blind with the Queen Jack. Good. Check. Elias checks. So we're going to see three community cards. Fancy has flopped top pair. Bet 1,000. Elias has a gut shot draw. He'd need the nine for the straight. Call. Bensi has now picked up the flush drawer as well. Bet 2200. He fires again. Now, Elias, with no club in his hand. Call. Suggests he's calling to make a bluff on the river. And now he'll have to bluff to win this one. How much is Praz going to make it cost? Four thousand. Bet four thousand. It's half the pot. Okay. Pass. 
And that price, just right to get rid of Elias. Bansi collects a sizeable pot. And maybe the internet qualifier ruining his decision to chase that one on the turn. We're still four-handed here in the Poker Lounge in association with Full Tilt Poker. $120,000 awaiting the winner. Raised to 2200. Pass. More aggression from the cutoff by Jennifer Tilly. Pass. Call. Antonius happy just to call with the ace nine. Two players. Check. Patrick checks his up and down straight draw. Is Jennifer preparing to bluff? She's missed this by a country mile. 3,000. All in. Raise all in. But Patrick having absolutely none of it. Another great aggressive move by the fearless Finn. Not wearing a Viking helmet, but he might as well be. I well for the old check race all in. Pass. I saw this video, Patrick, where you're saying you just have feelings, like you just feel things off of people. That's when I'm drunk. 